This year, for the first time, the East Hanover Italian American Club will be awarding the Ace Alagna Italian Heritage Award, given to those who do great work within the Italian American community. The first honoree is none other than Buddy Fortunato and family. And uh, you have kind of a special relationship with Ace. Ace was my father-in-law. Uh, I married his oldest daughter, Marion, who was the first editor of the newspaper after he purchased it. And my sister-in-law, Joan, today is our general manager. Uh, and uh, a closer relationship I, I couldn't have uh, because of my wife and my sister-in-law and uh, being involved every day here. He had purchased the newspaper in 1968. He had been a White House member of the White House Press Corps and the photographer for the state of New Jersey in the State House, plus at the Star Ledger. But he always wanted to own the Italian Tribune because he had a vision for the newspaper. So when he purchased it in, in 1968, he took it to a completely different level from a local town newspaper to a much larger circulated newspaper. And uh, he was just a terrific guy who had great energy and affection for his Italian heritage. The Italian Tribune today is the largest Italian American newspaper in the United States. And it uh, promotes and projects our heritage and everything good about it whether it be the food and the wine, or whether it be the places of interest in Italy, uh, our culture, history, heritage. Uh, that's, that's what we do every week, every day. That's what we do here. Now we're talking about the parade in 2012, but the Italian Tribune had a parade back in the day. The Italian Tribune sponsored the second largest Columbus parade in the United States for many, many years. My father-in-law had had moved it from downtown Newark to Bloomfield Avenue in the North Ward. And it became an event that was uh, very much looked forward to. And um, he began an initiative of honoring a celebrity of Italian heritage uh, at every parade. And the names that we saw out there, you got like the A-list of the A-list to yeah, come out did. for your event. Yeah, we, we really did. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was a great experience and uh, uh, very enjoyable to do that. We no longer do the parade. Uh, we leave that to, to your organization Thanks. now. Why is it so important to you still to this day carry out his vision, carry out his legacy? Why is that important to you? Well, I think that he had a, a vision that we now have taken to a completely different level. The paper today uh, is, is looked upon as a national publication. We have more papers in other states than we do in New Jersey today. So, so that's, that's one of the things. Number two, we now have offices elsewhere uh, beside New Jersey. So we took his vision and uh, not only took it to different levels, but took it, but modernized it to, so it would appeal to different generations. Tell our viewers how excited you are about October 7th. I think it's great. Uh, we're looking forward to participate in the parade. We're looking forward and we greatly appreciate the fact that uh, uh, John and the organization had, had thought of my father-in-law and thought of the newspaper. Uh, we, we really thank the, the people involved for that and uh, we hope that this is the beginning of a, of a, of a, of a great relationship with the organization.